Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over P-frame data moshing. If you haven't already watched my iframe data moshing video, I would recommend going back and watching that first. I'll leave a link for it in the description. P-frame data moshing is where we copy and paste a P-frame to duplicate over itself. In doing so, we're replicating whatever movement data is happening within a frame and applying it to the previous frame that we've selected. If you're watching this video, you might have seen some examples of P-frame data moshing, like Here's this one, or this one. Tutorial video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this exact effect. So let's get into the video. To explain P-frame data moshing, let's look at a clip from the intro. Within this clip in the intro, we've got the first iframe. This frame's got the data for every single pixel on the screen right now. The next frame along, is a P frame. These P frames have only got the data for the pixels that are moving, so the screens in the background and myself. And all of these consecutive frames are a combination of P and B frames. These P frames have literally just got the data of me and the screens moving and everything else around it is a repeat. The walls in the back and all of my desk, etc., are just all repeat frames. So what can we do with this information? Well, when we take our clip into a Vidamux, we'll be able to use the P-frames and repeat them over and over again, taking the movement data of how the pixels would progress from one frame to the next and repeating that cycle so the colors end up giving a nice bloom and flower effect, like we see here. To begin with, we need to export the video as a H.264 file. We can do this in pretty much any video editor, I just happen to be using Final Cut today. Now that we have our clip as a H.264 file, we need to bring it into a Vidamux. When you do the, drop the clip into a Vidamux, you're gonna get two pop-ups and you just need to say no to both of them. Now that we have the footage in a Vidamux, we need to change the file type to an MPEG-4 ASP in brackets XVID. This is gonna allow us to begin the deep P-frame data moshing process. Next, we need to go to configure move over to the frame type and change the maximum iframe interval to all nines. Once you've done this, hit OK, and then we need to save the video. I began saving my videos simply titled one, since this is the first step of the process and it helps me remember where I am. Once you've saved this first pass through, you need to close the file and then reopen it again. Now that we've reopened our file, we need to find a frame that we want to use to duplicate. Make sure you check along the bottom that it says that it's a frame type P. Once we've found the frame we want to duplicate, we need to push the A button, then use our arrow keys to move across a frame and press the B button to select this singular frame. Once you've selected it, using Command or Control C, copy and paste the frame. Now that we have a copy of the frame, you need to press Control V and paste the frame. I would do this slowly as a Vidamux is very likely to crash if you do spam the button. I'm going to do about 20 to 30 copies of this frame so the effect lasts for about half a second. Now that we've copy and pasted the frame, we need to change the file type back to a copy. So go back to your video tab and select copy. Once we've done this, all we need to do is just save the video now. And I'm going to save it as two since this is the second step. And that's everything we need to do in a Vidamux. Now that we've completed those two steps, we just need to change the video back to a H.264, which you can do using VLC or an online video converter. I'll leave links for both of them in the description as well. Finally, just bring your clip back into your original editor of choice and begin using it in your edit. Here. Johnny. You can take this clip and re-export it and reprocess it through the P-frame data motion process as well to get even more funky results. Here's Johnny. <laughs> and that's everything for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to all of them if I can. Um, and if you did enjoy the video and found it helpful, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.